The first woman to ever complete the marathon, Bobby Gibb, was in Hopkinton as this year was the 50-year anniversary since she became the first female to ever cross the Boston Marathon finish line. She talked about her story to a packed house at the Hopkinton Country Club. From California, three days and three nights, uh, I subsisted on bus station chili and a bag of apples. <laughs> I got to the St. James Station and I called my parents. Uh, I had recently been married, that's why I was in San Francisco, my husband was in the Navy. And I was against the Vietnam War, but he was in the Navy, uh, so uh, he was against the war too. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I came back <laughs> and I arrived the day before the, the actually it's at night, I guess, I arrived before the race. I called my parents from the St. James Station and they said, well, where are you? And this trembly little voice, I, I went, and my mother, my mother, where are you? And I said, well, I'm in Boston. And, well, why? Well, I came to run the Boston <laughs> Marathon. And, of course, I hadn't told my parents that I was training for the Boston Marathon <laughs> because I knew they would think I was nuts and they would try to stop me. So the only people that knew were my boyfriend and a couple of my close women friends. Hopkinton High School welcomed runners from China. Students performed dances and songs to welcome the runners. <laughs> Just a spark of an idea that the was given to the school superintendent, Kathy McLeod, and then a whole bunch of organizations came together that included uh, Golden Pond, Dynasty Restaurant, the entire Chinese community here in Hopkinton, and a whole bunch of other organizations came together, including the 26.2 Foundation, to put on this event that had not, it was such a, a warm welcome for our visitors from Shanghai and Beijing who are here to run the marathon, uh, and Dimitri Karyakides, who lives in Shanghai, who ever, oh, a, lot of, a lot of you know his father won the 50th Boston Marathon and has a statue right outside of Western Nurseries dedicated to his father's win. And really, it was uh, the first warm welcome that was the group from China and Shanghai. They are really the guest of honors, and in, having performances and food and a few short little speeches uh, was quite, it's been quite a warm event. Hopkinton Middle School hosted their annual Desire to Inspire 2.62 mile run or walk in which the students completed the annual course around the school. Yeah, we love it. It's 800 kids running, walking, uh, challenging themselves, being with their friends, uh, just enjoying the day and it's something that we look forward to every year. And the excitement is just awesome in the stands. Um, I'm on the mic and I have kids that are coming up, they're doing shout outs, um, and they just support each other and their teachers. And uh, we had something new this year, we had a little dab off with the teachers and that went really well. The kids do this thing called the dab, which we older people don't really get, but um, it's something that you go like, that. And so we had a little competition with the teachers and the kids seemed to enjoy that this year. Oh, okay, kind of like family. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I noticed, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like uh, they got some new uh, uh, ribbons this year. Uh, oh, these are the lanyards. Last year they got little wrists things. This year they um, got lanyards for their school um, IDs and things like that. We like to just give them a little memento and it also keeps the desire to inspire in their mind, which is um, just a movement we have at our school that we want them to inspire each other, to inspire us, and to inspire their community. So whereas we do a lot of athletic things, we also bring in a lot of speakers, and we just want the kids to think about how they can be powers of change in their community and to inspire others. All right, and seeing that this has uh, become such a tradition here at the middle school, kids must really look forward to it. They do. You can uh, just feel the excitement in the class on the day of. They all got new t-shirts this morning, um, so they get their yearly t-shirts as well, and then they wear them to other school events uh, for the remainder of the year. So it's, it's really a great thing. We love doing it, and because we are the town that starts the marathon. We love having our own 2.62 challenge right before the marathon. So I wanted 
thank Will Dion for being our, our first male to cross the finish line. And Kiki Fassbender, our female finisher.